Today I'm showing you my studio setup for my video game streaming to YouTube or, or editing videos. This is the three systems. Monitor setup with two different computers. And I'm using KRK's monitors and Mackie monitors. Both computers have 32 gigabytes of memory. Both computers have around 20 terabytes of storage space. This is a Novation remote SL. This is a remote SL0 by Novation. This is my computer on my side it has a nice video card in it they both have good video cards they both very high dollar video cards about a thousand dollars a piece and up in here is my computer that is my server user thread ripper and this is my poe power or network switch or power or ethernet each computer has its own UPS as a backup power I'm using a flashlight so you can see my server which is off right now it has 30 gigabytes sorry 30 30 terabytes of storage and has 2 terabyte boot hard drive I guess M.2 solid state these are some of the programs I use for music editing video editing streaming this is FL studio that's a uh, wave lab cubase 5 which I still use to make music well record music not replay music and I have studio 1 by Prasonis version 4 I use After Effects and Pro uh, Photoshop. I use Camtasia, Active Presenter. I use uh, Resolve to make my videos too. computer right here is it does everything it's an editor streamer play the games it's the Plex server when I'm having my Plex server running right now I'm using this is Fruity Loops or you call it FL Studio I'm still gonna call it Fruit Loops when it first came out it was called Fruity Loops so to me it's still Fruity Loops This program is what you make your beats in. Majority, all the professional producers use FL Studio to make beats. They lay them down in here, then they bounce them over to another, I guess, DAW, like Pro Tools, Cubase, Prosonus, and that's where they do all the rest of the recording because FL Studio doesn't does vocal recording really well. And it's an EMU 1616M. I have three of them one for each computer, and one's mobile when I take it out on the road to record people on my laptop. The reason why I keep these around, they can run 44. K all the way up to 192K, which is what they use on Pro Tools 192. These are my presets that I set up. And these are the presets that's already built into the, I guess, the interface. As you see, it's 44.1 all the way up to 92K. It has built-in effects, which I don't use besides the sound gate. Well, noise gate. 
I'm using a noise gate right now on this microphone. So when I'm speaking, it opens up and you can hear me. When I stop speaking, it just shuts down and just no noise go through. Right here, there's noise going through the, I guess, the microphone because the microphone is on. It used XLR cables. I usually use my Prosonic Studio One for overdubs because the other programs wouldn't work size Cubase, but Cubase is so old it can't do the, I guess, 4K videos. This EMU interface, I keep it for one reason, is it's probably one of the best out there in the system for, for its price range. Taking the time to load all its plugins. I have like, I don't know, 600 different plugins. As you see, it's an EMU interface. It has a lot of ISO inputs, a lot of ISO outputs. I stream, when I stream videos, I stream them from one computer to the next, and I use ADAT, which is fiber octaves, to stream the sound from one computer to the next. Another computer is used to stream to YouTube. I use some I guess you say wave plugins. I don't like them as I used to as much. I use now, I use fab filters plugins. As you see right here, all the ISOs I have on that input. But I'm on the ISOs on the outputs too. So this is a very versatile interface. And I really don't know why they took it off the market. Very good, and the latency is down to like two milliseconds. When we record, when I'm mixing, I use a very, very, very high latency, like 20 milliseconds. I even go higher than that. It depends on the plugins I use.
I'm gonna open up the style filter plugin. It's Q3, probably my favorite plugin. <laughs> Live style filter. It's an EQ plugin. I use, like I said, I use a lot of Adobe stuff. Um, these are old versions from when I bought them a long time ago. So I don't have the newer version. I'm planning on maybe, well, since you can't buy them no more, you gotta lease them. I'm not gonna lease them or pay monthly fees for them. So I just gotta keep with the old versions. This is VMware. This is SonoWorks. I use this right here to, I guess, to make my speakers sound correct in my room because of reverbs and they work well really good this is probably one of my best programs I had I had ARC by another program by them I think it was made by IK medium multi-medium something like that I'll show you a program I use to stream to YouTube. This right here is my, so my Asus motherboard. It controls all my fans and the speed of the CPU. I can overclock my CPU if I need to, but I never overclock it. As you see on my desktop, right on my desktop, I have my temps on all my hard drives. So I always keep a check an eye on my hard drive temps and my CPU temps and my video card temps. And that way I can turn my fans up to cool them down. And this CPU, I'm sorry, this computer right here, I use to use my surveillance to on my video, like security video. It's a very powerful computer. It can do a lot of things at one time. And I custom built all my computers too, so. And they both are water cooled. I still use fans 